Good morning. Today we are making cream puffs. And the cream puffs have the following ingredients. Some water, half a cup. We're gonna put that into our pot. We're gonna add our milk. We are gonna add, and that was half a cup of milk, half a cup of butter. We're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. Now the sugar is optional. We are making cream puffs and cream puffs are sweet. So um, I decided to add it in, but if you're making these savory, okay, you can omit it. And we are just gonna wait until it's pretty much boiling. Also, and everything is homogenous and completely melted. All right, so this has a lot of moisture from obviously the water and the milk. The milk adds also a little bit of richness. The butter adds a little bit of tenderness. The salt enhances the sweetness and the sugar um, is gonna help that breast, um, crust brown slightly. And you see all those beautiful bubbles. We are ready to add our flour, so I'm gonna do it off of the heat. And in just one dump, I'm just gonna stir that in. And I'm doing it off the heat because you don't want this to be lumpy. And what you're doing right now is you're gelatinizing the starches. All right, so once you see that all of the liquid has absorbed, then you're gonna dry this out slightly until you see like a film on the bottom of the pot. So we're gonna turn our heat back on. And then we will cool it slightly and then we're going to beat in our eggs. So with this recipe, pat a shoe is actually, in, or shoe in French is called cabbage. And it's like that because the finished product is kind of shaped like a like a little cabbage. All right. And you don't see any chemical leaveners here. What you see is a the physical leavener of steam. So all of the water from the butter, from the water, the milk, even the water and the eggs, when it goes into the oven, that water is going to evaporate. It's gonna to turn to steam and it's gonna create a hollow interior and a nice crispy crust. And you'll see that they are going to puff up substantially. All right, so you see how a film has formed on the bottom of my pot there. We're just kind of drying this mixture out. I'm gonna shut the heat off. Now, the next step that you can, is to um, mix this. Now, you could transfer it to your stand mixer. I'm just gonna do it in a bowl. And before I add it, I'm just going to Spread it just so it cools slightly because I don't want my eggs to turn to scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to cool it slightly. And you want to cool it to about like 125. 
uh, degrees, but I'm actually going to just do it really quickly. And you're going to add one egg in at a time. And once that egg is fully incorporated, you can add another egg. The egg adds also some richness. It adds a little bit of color. It binds it all. And it also acts as a leavener. So it's going to look kind of choppy. You're just going to keep on stirring until it comes together. We're going to add our last egg. to our baking trays. Now you have some options to portion it. Traditionally, it's just done via a pastry bag, or you can use an ice cream scoop. If you don't have any of these things, you can just use a spoon. If um, that's gonna be an obstacle of letting you get in the way of making it, a spoon's fine, right? Not a problem. So I'm going to put these on my baking tray. And now you're going to take some water. Okay. And you're just going to smooth out and kind of round it with your water coated finger. If you wanted, you could make these uh, savory. Some people do, and they're called gr grugeres. Uh, to make them savory, you would just add some hard cheese, like a gruyere or even like a cheddar. You could even add a little bit of mustard or, mustard or black pepper. If you wanted, you could actually also add some maybe pretzel salt, or you could also add some sparkling sugar, turbinado sugar, and then bake it off. All right, so this is gonna go into an oven that is 425 degrees for 10 minutes. I'm going to lower the temperature to 350 degrees, and it's gonna bake for another 13 to 15 minutes and we'll come back when they're done. All right, these are our finished patachou. And as you see, they are hollow on the inside. They're nice and golden brown on the outside. I cut one open. And to make a cream puff, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the bottom and with a chopstick and just make a hole. And sometimes there's also like a hole on, on the side. So if there's already a hole on the side, I would say just go with it. And then uh, you could do this with a pastry bag. 
I'm just doing it with a sandwich bag just to show you that, listen, you can do it with whatever you have in your house, okay? And I can tell right now that, oh, it's nice and filled, okay? Now, this is whipped cream. I filled it. You can just top it with a little bit of powdered sugar. That's one way to do it. To make a profiterole, all right, you're gonna cut your cream puff in half. You're going to stuff it with some vanilla ice cream and then top it. And then you're gonna put some chocolate sauce on top. That would be a profiterole. The other thing that you can stuff this with would be some pastry cream. I have that here again. I'm going to, actually, I'm just gonna go in from the side because I think that's like the side area of least resistance, but you could go in from the bottom. I've already cut a hole in the sandwich bag. And this is just to show you, you don't need fancy equipment to make these. And you're just gonna, with some pressure, put it in and you can tell that it is good to go. And you don't have to use pastry cream. You can just use some uh, vanilla pudding mix straight like that. Or if you want, you can actually combine the whipped cream with your vanilla pudding or your pastry cream and fill it with that. You can fill these with lemon curd. All right. And if instead of being round, these were like logs, you would make an eclair. An eclair is traditionally with pastry cream and again, this like chocolate glaze. Now we bake these. This is the same dough that you would use to make churros, beignets, or curlers. The only difference is instead of baking them, you're frying them, all right? So this is a very versatile dough you can make a cream puff, a profiterole, you can make eclairs. If you fry them, you can make churros, beignets, curlers, very versatile. If you wanna make it savory, when you're done mixing your eggs, you would add a savory ingredient like Gruyere cheese or cheddar to make them savory. So now let's taste one. I think I'm gonna taste the pastry cream. It has a nice crisp outside, a nice creamy inside. They're wonderful. Try them, make them, enjoy. I love you. Have a great day.